So in this video, we are going to um, discuss about the topic which is the rabin karp algorithm and this rabin karp algorithm is also one of the string matching algorithms. So uh, before the rabin karp algorithm, we had a look uh, at the brute force technique which is also called as a nave algorithm. And this brute force technique is a very very natural solution that uh, given an array and given some random index locations you are going to go to every uh, index location and then you are going to match both the string and the pattern for example if let us suppose this is this is entire is a pattern then first of all you are going to match it with this part then you are ma going to match it with this part then you are going to match it with this part and, and so on right but this uh, when we say, uh, talk about this brute force technique now this brute force technique does not do any kind of processing on the data and when i'm saying processing on the data that means uh, you may be having some kind of parameters to you know uh, measure uh, the pattern that whether there's some part of the pattern which is automatically repeating itself or maybe some kind of other kind of processing on the pattern so that when you search that pattern on the given text then it will become very easy to search it right but obviously see obviously we have seen that the algorithm which is the naive algorithm or the brute force technique it takes a lot of time complexity okay so let me instead of saying it let me write it down on the paper and let me show it to you okay so what i meant to say is uh, the first technique that we studied is the brute force technique brute force technique or it is also called as the naive string matching algorithm the naive string matching algorithm okay now what was the problem with this brute force technique or the naive string matching algorithm is that this algorithm even if it is a best case worst case on average case this algorithm is going to take order of n minus m plus 1 into m as the time comp complexity where m is the size of the pattern so this is the size of pattern and this n is the size of text okay so it just takes this time to search the entire data and there's no time taken to process the data and when i'm saying data it, it, it means a pattern so it is not taking any time to process the pattern but uh, now the next algorithm that we are studying is the rabin karp algorithm so it is rabin karp string matching algorithm string matching algorithm so what is the benefit of studying this rabin karp string matching algorithm that given on an average case given on an on an average it is going to perform better as compared to the brute force technique right but on the worst case again it is going to take the same amount of time uh, which is taken by the brute force technique but on an average it is going to take less amount of time as compared to the brute force technique okay but there are two parts of this number one there should be processing of the pattern that means we are going to process the pattern okay so this processing of the pattern is going to take order of m time and then using this processing of the pattern we are going to do the string uh, matching okay so this is then we are going to do string matching or finding the substring okay and again in the worst case it, it, is, it is also going to say take the same time complexity in worst case okay so i'll tell you what is the worst case and how it is taking the same time of uh, same time complexity in worst case but just understand that when we have an average case on the best case this rabin cup algorithm is performing a lot better as compared to the brute force technique okay so the first thing with that that is required is the pattern uh, is the processing the pattern and if you can process the pattern if you can find some kind of information from the pattern then accordingly uh, we can move on move ahead on this okay so before we start this ribbon carpel algorithm let me just give you a small small difference between the both the techniques what is a brute force taking technique and what is a uh, ribbon carp algorithm so what is the basic difference between these two techniques is when we study the brute force technique now this brute force technique consider the pattern or the text as a sequence of characters okay that means if you have an entire pattern like this so entire text like this which is a b a c d a c b b or maybe anything so this is representing the text and we may be having a pattern assuming the pattern is a c b and b and this is the pattern now when we discuss about this text and this the pattern now in the brute force technique it is just uh, considering them as a sequence of characters as a sequence of characters 
and we tried to match these sequence of characters for example we tried to match this a with a this a with a then we, if it is matching then we try to match this c with b if it is matching then only we go move forward otherwise we stop it and we again shift this entire uh, pattern right so if it is matching just assuming that if it is matching then we are trying to match this one this one and the, we are going to try and match this one and this one so in that way if the this entire text is of length n and this entire pattern is of length m then this is going to take order of m minus n plus 1 as the time com into m as the time complexity in case of the brute force technique right but when we have this rebin karp algorithm now this rebin karp algorithm he is very very smart as he's he's not actually he's not considering the text as a text it is not considering the pattern as a pattern but rather the rebin karp algorithm what he did is he considered a pattern as a sequence of numbers do you understand what i am saying as a sequence of numbers right just just for a simple example assuming that we have two things if we have a number like integer a is equal to 532 and integer b is equal to 342 assume these are two numbers now i can do if a is equal to b that means i can just compare their values uh, whether a is equal to b or not okay right but if we have a text like if we have a character of a character a right? character a with the four index location as a b a c assuming this is the character and we can have character b with four index locations which is a c a d now this way we cannot do if a is equivalent to b we cannot do things like this because it is not correct it is clearly not connect why because this entire character is actually stored into an array a b a and c we are, we are not having a uh, slash no null characters in, in the ending because i'm specifically specifying the size of this character as four so there is no space for the null character okay again this next one is also stored as a c a d now these are two uh, you know two uh, patterns maybe or two uh, text but if you want to compare these two texts then we have to compare this a with a we have to compare this c with b we have to compare this this one this one and we have to compare this one and this one so we have to compare each and every index locations one by one so that is why if we are just try, if we just try to compare these two given characters now still it is going to take a lot of time because we have to use a for loop to implement this so we can have for i is equal to zero i less than uh, four and i plus plus and we can say if a of uh, you know i is equal to b of i right it is double equal to b of i then continue otherwise else break right so we can have a for loop like so we have to implement a for loop just to uh, compare these two right so even if for example here that length is three maybe this uh, character this uh, number length maybe four uh, four digits but still we can do something like this we do not require a loop but here even if the length is 3 or even if the length 4 is even the length 5 or whatever the length is whatever may be the length we have to use a for loop to uh, match each and every location okay so this is a basic difference between these two approaches so this rebin karp algorithm what rebin karp said is do not consider a string as a string but rather convert it to a number and consider it as a number do you understand what i am saying so he is saying if you have a given text like this and if you have a given pattern like this now first of all convert that pattern into a sequence of numbers in the same way for the given text for some for example here uh, this four digits of this text the first four digits of text consider this first four digits of text and convert these first four digits of text into a sequence of numbers or you can say in, into a number and then compare these two numbers because for comparison of these two numbers you do not require any kind of loop to understand this so this is the rebin corp algorithm this is how intelli intelligently he uh, he said okay now to convert this pattern uh, in a sequence of digits as a number so we have to do some kind of processing this some kind of processing is required and this processing time is actually order of m but uh, this processing is required only once and later on we do not require this kind of processing and so that we can improve 
the total time taken to search the entire text okay so let us do one thing um, there's some some kind of preliminary information is required uh, to study rabin carp algorithm and this preliminary information is about given a, a sequence of uh, uh, digits in the pattern how can you convert these sequence of digits in the pattern to a sequence of numbers let me uh, introduce this and let me cover this and accordingly we'll move forward okay so uh, let us move on to the next video where we are going to compare these two things so there is a preliminary information which is required to implement the Rabin-Karp algorithm okay